Hi, it's Father Walsh for our Wednesday announcements. It's November 17th, and uh, we have our parish council meeting tonight. We're going to be discussing our town hall meeting that we had at St. Rose and going over a whole number of other things on the agenda regarding our, our parish life at Our Lady Mount Carmel in St. Rose. Uh, there's a lot of different projects and uh, things that have been uh, un unfolding. And we just want to make sure we always stay in touch with uh, keeping our finger on the pulse of our parish life during our parish council meetings and getting input and processing you know, the important matters of our, our parishes. Um, there's also going to be a, a meeting of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Finance uh, Council on Friday. We had some legal issues that we had to look at regarding the feast property, and we do have a resolution about those that we'll discuss, and also some other uh, financial matters regarding uh, diocesan assessments and, and things that we have to um, be able to, to get current on uh, at Our Lady of Mount Carmel um, and being able to look forward to a next meeting for our feast committee because we're going to be discussing uh, the feast for next year, hopefully for July 2022. Uh, asking God's blessing that that can take place and that we'll put everything in motion and uh, barring any other restrictions from uh, the pandemic, hopefully we can move forward with that and get everybody on board uh, with the planning for that. Um, there's going to be another issue, believe it or not, with the boiler at St. Michael's. Uh, God must have figured, let's make it uh, all three churches, that something happens to the boiler and uh, we'll just, you know, have to deal with it. Unfortunately, it's another expense. Uh, and we have about $7,000 for two new pumps and switches that are going to be necessary to fix the boiler at St. Michael's. Uh, so I did mention last time in terms of the boiler at St. Rose, uh, we didn't get the bill yet for that, but we know that's going to be quite an expense. So I think in the new year in January, so as not to conflict with uh, the Holy Name Society calendar, uh, the fundraiser that they do um, around Christmas time, we'll have a raffle in the month of January uh, called New Year's Heat um, that we'll need to be able to have uh, some income to help pay the expense of fixing the boilers both at St. Rose and at St. Michael's. Uh, I really want to stress the parish mission that is coming up. I spoke to Father Pio yesterday. Father Pio Mandado is a, a, a Franciscan hermit, a missionary hermit that lives in Laceyville. I've known him for over 20 years. He's a wonderful priest. He received his first Holy Communion from St. Pio in Pietrocina in Italy. And uh, he's lived here um, coming to us from New York he had known Father Benedict Rochelle and uh, was part of the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal and uh, wanted to live more of a, a hermit's life, but also goes out to do missions and retreats. Uh, so we're blessed to have him. We thought the Capuchin Sisters were going to join us as well, but there was a change of plan. They're not going to be able to join us, but we do have Father Pio preaching all of the Masses and on the weekend of the 4th and 5th, and then 6th, 7th, and 8th. He'll be here every evening and, to give a either the Mass and or uh, a talk, a conference. And the last night, we'll try to pull together a little social time for everybody um, when it's all done. But there's going to be healing service, Eucharistic Adoration, Masses for the, the Feast of uh, Immaculate Conception. And he, Father Pio will be available in the morning as well, uh, at the morning Mass to preach, and available during the day for confessions or for anybody who wants to talk. So it's a, a nice opportunity. We'd like you to have it on the schedule. Try to make all of them if you can, but certainly at least one of the nights um, to be part of the parish mission for Advent. And again, we have Eucharistic Adoration that uh, Deacon uh, Pat Messino will lead for us and look at, for the schedule because it rotates from Sunday to Sunday where it's at 3.30 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. a time for peaceful, prayerful meditation, being in front of the Blessed Sacrament, and, uh, and just enjoying, I think, that experience of Advent, um, just joy, Advent waiting, Advent peace. And uh, in the midst of all the busyness, it will provide, I think, uh, a nice remedy for all of the, the hustle and bustle of the seasons. 
We're also looking for angel ornaments uh, for the tree that we're going to have up over at the park for the season. And if you have an angel that you'd like to donate for decorating that tree, just drop it by the rectory. Um, and the gift of Faith's Dress Balls are still available. Happen to have one right here. And we have Our Lady Mount Carmel and St. Rose and Word Worship Service and Community. It's nice and soft. It, it's just a helpful thing to have around. It's only $10. We're, we want to have every family have one. It's uh, every family in the, the parishes. So they're only $10. Make a good stocking stuffer. Please consider um, purchasing one. The proceeds split 50-50, uh, Our Lady Mount Carmel and St. Rose. So I think that's about it for now. And thank you for tuning in and have a blessed week.